Hello, it is Tuesday. It is currently about 9.45 and I am actually about to start writing. I woke up at 8.15 today because me and my mom might go skating later, which if we go skating then the session starts at 11, so, so we'd have to leave around 10.40 or so if we want to get there right on time. But anyway, I wanted to get some writing done before we go, if we do go, and I actually am super proud of myself that I was able to wake up and get ready and everything. And so now I have a good, probably maybe an hour, 45 minutes to write. And my current scene is probably a very short one. So hopefully it'll go by pretty easily. There's not that much to it, I don't think, unless it ends up turning into something that I did not intend it to be. But right now it's just kind of a very short to the point scene in my outline. So hopefully, I will get a good way into that, if not finish it. So it's like 11.25 now. I don't think we're going skating. I'm not sure if my mom is awake yet or not. Either way, I haven't heard from her. And if we were going to go skating, she would have talked to me like over an hour ago, I think. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I finished the scene that I was writing a little bit before 11 and then I uploaded my video that I talked about editing yesterday, my bargain book haul, so that's all up now. And then I did a little bit of stretching because why not? I'd been sitting in one position for a very long time. And now I think I'm going to do some reading because I did not read yesterday. Remember, I flipped a coin and editing one over reading some of King of Scars. I might read outside because I'm less likely to fall asleep if I read outside. Reading inside on my bed. I usually fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if it's this book or what, but like I cannot get through this book. I cannot read more than a few pages without falling asleep. So I ended up reading about 30 pages. The book is starting to get a bit more interesting, finally. As it goes through stages of like not that much happening and then a few interesting things happen and then like I'm still trying to figure out what the overall plot of the story is. It's a little bit difficult to figure out but it's really nice outside. It was a little bit cooler and now it's gotten warmer but I think I'm gonna go inside now because it is getting a little bit too warm actually for what I'm wearing. Time to pack up my reading spot. It has been a few hours and so I thought I would update on what I've been doing for the last few hours. It's now 5 o'clock. I forget exactly when I last vlogged. I think I was outside. That was like a little bit after 12, so it has been a while. I ended up doing a little bit more reading. I forget exactly how many more pages I read. Then I ended up taking a short nap and eating lunch. Then what did I do? Oh yeah, so instead of actually writing more in my book, I had to do some scene planning because it turned out that once again the scene that I had in my outline was like one sentence long but then I realized it was time for like another reveal of information. I think I mentioned before I separated my outline into 10 different sections and I'm at section 7 right now. So I'm at the point in the book, you know, we're like <laughs> over 70% into the book if we're doing it that way. I have to start revealing kind of stuff that has been mysterious throughout the entire book. I didn't quite realize that this scene, <laughs> because in my outline it was such a short like one sentence description, it's like these characters, like I said that the characters confront somebody, 
but for the person or people who they were confronting, I'm like, did they give them the information or not? Because then the next scene I have from this particular storyline is them having this information and like what they're gonna do with that information. That just made me realize that I have to reveal some information that <laughs> you're probably gonna laugh. This book that I'm talking about is, like I said, a portal fantasy. So it does involve multiple different worlds. So the information that the characters get is not actually about the world that they're currently in right now because they do travel to different worlds in this series. That's why it's a portal fantasy. It involves some portal hopping, you know, and explore different worlds. And so like I have the complete backstory of this world that they are learning something about that is not, it's not a world that we've visited yet in this series. We will in a later book. And, and I've hinted at some stuff from that other world already. Basically I have this whole long and involved backstory for this one world that I'm going to be mentioning in this scene coming up. And so I had to be like, how much do we know already? And how much is relevant directly to this scene? Because I have a lot of information that I could put in here, but it might just be too confusing. I don't know that we need to know all of this right this second. That's what I was working on for a little while. I don't know if I was working on it for like a half hour or an hour because I have a whole document of these different worlds that are going to appear in this series and their like backstories and stuff because a lot of the worlds are fantasy or paranormal worlds because that's what I like. So I've invented several different fantasy slash paranormal worlds, so I have to keep the rules of the magic all straight and everything. The short version is I had to do some planning instead of writing, and I don't think I'm going to write the scene today. I'm going to leave that for tomorrow, and I think I'm going to have to type it. I don't know how many of you out there are outliners, but it's so weird when you have a scene that you realize needs a lot more information in it than what you put in the outline. That's where I am. That's what I was dealing with. <laughs> it, it actually wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun to go back and read my little history section that I had written. A little bit. I might do a little more reading now or I might watch YouTube videos. Goodbye for now. Possibly goodbye for today because I'm not sure if I'm going to be vlogging anymore. I'm not sure how much more uh, productive stuff I'm going to be doing today. We shall see. Bye.